Guys, it's Ken. I'm back in the car from a quick trip to Kohl's to buy some clothes for a big award ceremony I get to go to this Saturday night. I'm fond of clothes shopping, like I'm not fond of the sun beating down on my face while sitting at this red light, but it is something that must happen from time to time. I'm going to a big award show out of Bridget's work at Universal Studios, so I had to buy some new snazzy clothes to get dressed up. I don't have to wear snazzy clothes at work, so I don't have a lot of snazzy clothes. In fact, I find it offensive if I have to tuck a shirt in or even wear a tie. Maybe uh, offensive was a bit harsh. I don't find it offensive to get dressed up. I just don't like formal wear. I never really have. Thankfully, I work in an environment where I don't have to wear a suit and a tie every single day. So today I bought myself a new pair of pants, actually a very dark pair of jeans, and a nice new shirt that fits. I can tuck it in. It's very comfortable. Now, I began my process with the shoes that I own. So I have this pair of shoes that I want to wear, and they're not formal wear shoes, but I don't feel like investing in a pair of formal dining or formal wear shoes, formal dining shoes, you know what I mean, fancy shoes. It's a pair of white and light blue with some black lines going through it, a pair of Vans that are very comfortable, very stylish. So I got the Vans, and I got the dark jeans, and I got this nice cool shirt. So I thought I would find a nice white tie to match the shoes. That was my plan. But the ties at Kohl's, they were 46 bucks, 38 bucks. The cheapest ones are like 32. I can't justify spending 32 bucks on a tie. That's just me. Something I probably won't wear again, maybe for a long time. So I'm going somewhere else in search of a tie. As I said before, I'm not a big fan of clothes shopping. For me, shopping is uh, in antique shops and thrift stores like this guy right here, this Goodwill. Let's see what they have in here in the way of ties. Also, this is a great place to find local people donating records, LP records, right in there. A lot of the ones I bought came from this store, so let's go see what they have. And if we get lucky, we'll find a tie, too. I don't know. 40 bucks versus a buck 99. I like that a lot better. And come to think of it, my shoes I'm wearing, even though there's a white rim around the sole, it's actually gray. It's a gray with a cool, like, very small checkerboard pattern with white laces, so a very cool pair of Vans that will go well with this. Grayish, kind of like a gray stormy cloud, a shimmering cloud, if you would, but even if it doesn't work out, it's only buck ninety-nine. but I'm going to make it work out. It's very clean, and it's very together, no fraying, there's a little, little, there's a little piece right there coming off, but that's in the back of it, so I won't see that anyway, but the front of it is very clean and very together, and very price efficient. I also did find some records down there and when we get home, I'll show you guys those. That is Mr. Red Foley. Oh, I just did it in my little DJ voice there. Mr. Red Foley I bought this record for two reasons. Number one, I love Red Foley, and there's a dog on the cover. I just wonder what the dog is looking at in the corner. Who knows, maybe he's wondering why he's not walking with those kids. I don't know. But I'll tell you something right now. If I was Mr. Carl Smith, I wouldn't worry about ties and fancy clothes and, well, because after all, he says, let's live a little. I would totally wear this anywhere. <laughs> I love that shirt. And I'm not joking. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I would totally wear that shirt anywhere, especially to an award show or just out and about. I like it. So interested to hear this one along with a few others. These are 59 cents at our local Goodwill store. So even if I don't like them, they're still worth the investment to see if I like them. But I think I will. This is All Star, All Time Folk Festival, made in 1964. I'm not sure if it's a live record or not, but it has a lot of information on the back and a lot of artists on the cover. So looking forward to that one. Then this one here, I was very shocked to find. It has a lot of great ones like Les Brown and Woody Herman, Duke Ellington. And it's in mint condition. It's got the original sleeve. There's no scratches, nothing. It's a very, very nice find. So hang on here for a few more minutes. 
play some records, relax, enjoy the rest of tonight, and look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Bye.